In today's tutorial, we will make this application, Graphics 102, where we have a picture box here, and once we click on the picture box, a graphics image will appear, and then we can use our arrow keys on the keyboard to move it left and right, and notice that our key code is displayed here. If we move up, it will, we will prevent the block from leaving the screen, leaving the picture box, that is. There you go. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so let's set it up. Let's open up Microsoft Visual Studio. Get rid of the start page. Let's save the project, or rather create a new project. Graphics 102. Here's our form. We're gonna. I'm gonna put a few things on the form. I'm gonna need a picture box to contain our graphics. This is a little different than what we had in uh, Graphics 101. Move the picture box there. I will. Go ahead and rename my picture box as pick box. We're going to use this a lot, so it's nice if it's short. I'm going to add another label. We're not going to rename this one. We're just going to change the text of our box, our label rather. Click on picture box to begin. And I'm going to add one more label. And we'll use this later on. I'm going to change the name of this label to LBL key code. Again, we'll use this later on. And I'm going to make the visible property faults. I do not want users to see this upon startup. Alright, so there we go. Nothing exciting and uh, I guess to begin let's double click on the form and um, enter, enter the code windows. If you viewed Graphics 101 you saw that we created a, an instance of uh, a graphics object. We do the same thing here. And I'd also like to create a few variables here for my box. This is the X coordinate of my box. This is the Y coordinate of my box. This is the width of my box. Height of my box. Oops, I want to make that a capital H. Just because I'm like that. And then finally, the box jump. How much will the box jump whenever we move it? As integer, and I'm going to go ahead and set this to be 5 pixels. Alright, so we've defined that. If we go to the form load, we can resize our, our objects on the form. So let's resize the form first. And let the form be a height of 475 pixels. These are just arbitrary. The width is 430 pixels. And now this is kind of cute. I'm going to use the width command to change several things about the picture box. So width me dot pick box. I'm going to change three properties. The border style. The width command just allows us to do this more, more simply. Equals, and I'm going to choose 3D fixed. I want the width of the picture box to be 400 
and I want the height of the picture box to also equal 400. Notice the end width line was added. I'm going to make the box's dimensions now. The box's width I'm going to have equal 75 and the box's height I'm going to have equal 20. Again this is just arbitrary. Now let's place the box in the center of the picture box. To do that we have to have a little mathematics. Our box is x coordinate is our picture box width divided by 2. Now that would place the left edge of the picture of our little box in the center of the picture window but we want the center of the box to be in the center so we must subtract out the box width divided by 2 and do the same thing for the y coordinate picture box height we don't need the um, parentheses here, it just helps to put them there. It just helps the user, I guess. Alright, and then finally we need to come here below the sub, but inside the class, and we need to make a private sub. I'm going to call it draw pick box, and this will draw the box every time we we need it drawn. Now in Graphics 101 we let the form be the canvas but here we're going to make the picture box be the canvas so we say g equals me dot picture box dot create graphics. Let's go ahead and make our smoothing equal the anti-alias so all of our graphics look nice Let's clear the box and make it black as a background. Let's add a, a rectangle. I want it to be yellow. And I want the box's coordinates. The x coordinate, of course, is box x. The y coordinate is box y. The width of the box is box W, and the height of the box is box H. Let those variables do the work for us. Finally, we want to dispose of our graphics instance to free up resources for the computer. All right, and then we have just one more thing, one more thing to do. We can in order to make the program or in order to make the graphics show up we want to be able to click on the picture box so I'm going to choose up here my picture box code or my picture box object and my method is going to be click so now whenever I click on the picture box I want to simply draw uh, if I could only type I want to draw the picture box. Alright, let's run that code and see what it looks like. So if we click on the picture box, boom, there's our box. Perfect. Now let's make it move.